What's going on, Monka Dudes and Monkettes? Hail for Gaming here, and welcome back to Minecraft with Hail. I have a plan today, and it's an easy-ish plan. Um, it's gonna be a little more convoluted, but that's how it's gonna have to be for the case of aesthetics. Um, it is what it is, but it's okay. It's okay. So. Let's just deal with this as it comes to me, right? Um, I need eight furnaces and eight blast furnaces. So I need 16 furnaces. 16 times eight is two stacks of cobblestone, which it is possible I don't even have. Cobblestone's over here. I do not have. So I'm gonna have to get some cobblestone first. That's my first order of business. Which means I need a regular pickaxe or my fortune pickaxe. I I should make a workhorse pickaxe, like a just uh, to mine to gather materials. My sticks are out here. Are you on me now? Okay, and I'm gonna do that because I think that's a good idea. Or I could buy a pickaxe and save my diamonds. Yeah, that's a better idea. So I'm going to do that instead. <laughs> I didn't think about that, but that's a good idea. If I need to, I can easily just grindstone it. That's not a big deal. Uh, let's see. You guys are toolsmiths. Okay. So, efficiency 2, unbreaking 2. Fortune 1. Unbreaking 1. Efficiency 2, unbreaking 2. 27. This one has fortune, though. 29. Yeah, I might as well get the fortune. 29? There. Actually, you know, let's grab two so I can combine them. 53. Two. Now oh, I can combine them and make them slightly better. Doesn't need efficiency five, even though it's still not insta mine. It's fine. It's fine. We got this. Put all my emeralds back. And go combine these with my anvil. Pardon me, come through. Oop. 17 levels. But that's fine. So I'm gonna get more easily. Okay, so this is the pickaxe I'm going to use. To go mine a bunch of cobblestone real quick. Uh, while I'm at it, I should have some stone melting up. So how much smooth stone did I need? If it's three per and I'm making eight, then it's 24. Yeah. 24 of you can smelt up. Easy, easy, easy. There you go. Three coal. Done. All right, time to go do some mining. Okay, small change of plans. Um... I'm going to make a cobblestone generator because I am in need of a cobblestone generator pretty badly. Now, I'm going to build the most basic possible one right now. But, uh, yeah, I am... I'd rather not make a huge mess. So, I'm going to build this. That was not the bucket I wanted. That is. Now, I'll go like that. And what I'm going to do is have a piston here. Facing this way. Uh, I might need some stone real quick. Put the stone there. And place it like that. Uh, and then... A repeater into that. I might need some redstone, actually. Um, an observer... Actually, I don't remember how observers face. How do observers face? Ah, okay. And then, actually, no, I don't even need <clears throat> need this repeater, to be honest. I can just... Although, I mean, I could just run two pieces of redstone like that. But I think what I'd rather do is still use a repeater. Is there any way I could do that? I could put a, a stone above this. Then I could run this down... 
here beside this and into this like this so I can actually put it on a like a tick higher. So that way it doesn't like instantly shoot. But I do need some redstone for it. Redstone. Redstone. There. Then I can just use this as a simple mine for this. Let's see if this works the way I want it to. It's got to be raining, don't it? Uh, try that again. Like, it's going to fire off a lot, and that's kind of annoying, but... What's more annoying, that? Or... Just this. That's not a strong enough pulse. So, yeah. I know there's another way to do it. But... I'm just gonna do it this way for now. Why you gotta be raining? What if I max that pulse out? Okay. I think maxing it out is what makes it actually work. But it works. I mean, it's not the best work because it's it's updating too much, as you can see. And it's firing off too quickly. Oh, you know what? It's also double firing off. What I need to do is, I think I have it too close. I think it's firing off with the redstone signal next to it. That might work a bit better. Might only send it off once. That's exactly what I wanted. Although I could just put another repeater so that it gives it faster time to touch. I might do that. Like this, but with another repeater. It's not like repeaters are hard to make or anything. I'll make two more real quick so I at least have one. I hate that it's raining. But anyway, I'm going to mine some cobblestone. My redstone knowledge is superficial, but thinking about it, this should theoretically work. I've kind of set up a different way. I think I've seen someone else do it like this before. It's been a long, long time. So I don't know if this will work, but I think it should work. So the point is you want to put lava here and then water here, but I think I've already messed this up. But that's fine. I'll just, I'll just do this and do this fast enough. Maybe it'll work. Why did I... That did not work the way I had intended for it to work. Why is the water going out this way? Oh, uh, yeah. I guess... Would it have... I'm just going to go grab a uh, sign real quick. <laughs> One more sign. I don't know why I didn't think of the other sign. But, I mean, I even put it up because I was like, it's just two signs. I don't... It won't flow out the sides that way, but I didn't think, hey, it won't flow out the front that way. There. Now it's completely contained within this block. And then this? No? Hmm. Well, technically, this isn't powering anything yet, but now it should power this, which powers this. Ah! It does work! I just... I just uh, was trying to, like, clear it out, but yeah... Yeah, I thought I was forgetting something. It's just this, uh, this right here. And then this will just keep pushing. Yeah, so now I've got it to work way better. The last one was annoying. And it saves on redstone components, because this is way easy. Wow, this is way easier this way. Alright, now to collect more resources. Also, I don't think I mentioned it, but I've maxed these guys out. 
I don't I don't know if it was mentioned last episode, but hey. <laughs> there. Uh, I'm setting up an auto smelter this episode. I figured you guys already knew. But if you didn't, that's the plan for this episode is to set up an auto smelter. Now, I don't have chests. That was the one thing I forgot to grab. Movie magic! Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, well, let's go ahead and start setting it up. Probably best to set up kind of backwards. So, like this. And like this. And then I can go ahead and start doing one, two, three. Actually, yeah, no, this is fine. This is fine. Like that. Like this. And on each side as well. Like this. And like this. Because there's limited space up here. This is how I have to do it. Now, I do need my crafting table, so let's put it, let's put it right here, and make furnaces, furnace, 16 furnaces, 8 of those being blast furnaces, like this. So as you can see, what I can do is, actually, yo, better idea, I was going to make each side the same, but how about I just do it this way? That makes way more sense. Originally, I was going to have it where this is eight furnaces and then this is eight blast furnaces. But I think I'm just going to keep them all on their same side. That's a cooler idea. In which case, I can just have... Um, I don't know if I can do it, how I can do this. Maybe what I do is instead I bring this all the way down here uh, over one. And then close this off, and then I can use this as a means of transport. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do. I'll uh, I'll do that real quick, actually. Okay, I've done it. I went ahead and did it. That's how I want to do it. So, I had to turn off villager sounds. Oh my goodness, it was driving me crazy. It was driving me crazy. Now, I am going to have to make some rails. So, first, powered rails. I'm going to need at least two of those. And then, regular... Rails? Isn't it? This? That's weird. I had to craft it to get the recipe. Whatever. Alright. So, also, furnaces. I don't need the bone meal right now. So, you on the back of you, and you on the back of you. Which is fine. Actually, this is really fine. This actually works way better. Originally, my plan was a lot worse. I like this. This is way better. I did put those all facing the correct way, right? To the, yeah, I did. Okay, so simply like this. Now what I can do is I can use deep slate tiles to say, hey, go down to the floor, like down one, so it can go down, down, and around. Back up, that, and same over here, one there and one there. And we can have the rails move. Um, I think maybe one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh yeah, you can't, you can't turn and angle. That's right. I forgot you can't turn and angle. So... I might as well just not have it go across the floor at all and just have it go straight across like that. I'll do that on both sides then. That's fine. I think that was four. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, it was five. Okay. Um, slate tiles. That's actually what I want to use for this specifically. Five. And for me to get up, I'm going to put that. That's not where I want that. I'll put these here for now so that I can get up here. So then you can turn like this. And then one in the middle. Then you can turn around like that. That's how I'm going to have it set up for that. Then I need some hoppers here for the top. And. This will also get one, two, three, one, two, 
I'm gonna need some more. More rails. Right. And then it should be able to make this curve easily. Not you, you. Should be able to make this curve easily. Like that. Now I just need redstone blocks, maybe? Levers, maybe? I have sticks. I don't have stone on me. Yeah, I don't have stone on me. I should have brought some stone with me so I could just make levers and put them on the top. Oh, yeah. Or mm, right there. This powers this. Actually, this would power both of these, right? And that would power, if I put it right there, but it shouldn't power the hopper. I don't think. This needs something. Uh, a redstone block could go here. Well, actually, you know, with the amount of speed, I might not need that at all. So, we'll see. We'll test it. Just need to test and see if the minecart with hopper works. So, let's go ahead and make a minecart. Minecart. And now a minecart with hopper. Go. Okay, come back with some levers. These do power these, but I don't think yeah, because it powers the top, which is that. So I don't think it's gonna power the the those as well. But now what I do is minecart with hopper. Yeah. Now do you work all the way across? No, I am gonna Oh darn it. No. Wait, there's, there, there's a, there, where there's a will, there's a way, and I have a way. There we go. Yeah, it's a lost cobblestone, but that's fine. Hmm, it doesn't go all the way across, and that's because it doesn't have enough speed to. But to be fair, I can replace these with powered rails, and then it should have enough speed to. Okay. Me. Excuse me. Grab this out of here and here. Now, that should be enough speed to get. Hmm. It's not. That's weird. I really need one in the middle? I might. I might need one in the middle after all. But I don't know how I'm going to power it. Power the bottom of this block. Actually, yeah, I could power the bottom of this. Actually, I could power right he this block right here, and that shouldn't be a problem. So power this block, and then right here, a lot of powered. Wait, did I not power the right? Did I not turn it on? Wait, does that not power above it? Hmm, interesting. So essentially, what I'm going to need to do is somehow. Figure out how to power below this block. But I have I have an idea on how to do that. Uh, just gotta do it this way, like this. Dig that out. Over here. Where? And then it's placed. Also, can I actually get the cobblestone that's there while I'm at it? No? Nah. That's fine. It'll despawn. Alright. So now I can mine up these two and place that back the way it was. Like this. And now that's powered and it should work. What should I do here? No, it stops on the edge. Is it? I'll figure it out. Interesting. So apparently the problem is the blocks here. Um, I just thought I'd try glass, and apparently glass didn't want to work either. Where'd my other glass go? I think my glass went in the hopper here. It did. Okay, well, if that's the case, I will put the three here but I don't think I'm going to need any of these. I think I just need to have it where 
or the, that four. I'll leave the four here, and then I'll just have it where the rails connect across. And now, without the glass, will it still go across? Because it did go across when I found out it was the block there. It does. It runs fine. I wonder if stairs will work then. Um, do I have stairs on me? No. I can make some, though. Make some uh, of these. Oh, that's not it. Uh, oh. Let me make some stairs real quick. One, two. That. And then let's see if, if I place it. Wait. That's not how I wanted it. That's not how I wanted it. Um, wanted it placed like this. Yeah, that's how I wanted it placed. So that, if this works, then I've solved it. Uh, it's just placing it like this is kind of difficult to do. I mean, I can destroy this and this. As long as I got my stuff back, should be fine. There, and now I can test it one way, and if that works, then we're good. All right, so let's test the minecart chest hopper, not chest, there. No. Huh. Dang. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, well. It's the only issue, and just to make sure... Went in there again. No? There? No? Where? Did it fall outside? Maybe. Huh. Well, I might just have to leave it open. Maybe I'll just make it bulge a tiny bit. Let's see, do you work? Okay. You work fine. Really? I don't even know. There you are. Okay. All right. So I think I'm going to have to leave those open after all. Because glass didn't work. I don't know. If anybody's got any ideas, uh, leave them in the comments. Where'd my other stair go? All right. Everything is set up and it is done the way it should be done. Go ahead and pick this back up. I'm actually going to leave the crafting table here. I think it's kind of cool. I might end up putting a lantern on it. But I've got the hoppers. I've got this. I've just put a block on the outside to kind of cover the hole. So it does look a little bit scuffed. But now they'll at least cut the corners like they're supposed to. And I have the hoppers here so I can place stuff in it. So you've got the coal goes on the bottom hopper. And then whatever you want to smelt goes on the top hopper. And I'm just hoping that that actually works completely. I don't have a lot of coal right now, or stuff to smelt right now, but I can... Actually, I can test it with stacks of bamboo. So let's see, eight stacks of bamboo, and four stacks of cobblestone? No, I don't want to do cobblestone. Um... Also, I need to clear out my inventory, so I'm going to do that real quick. All right, it's time to test it. I don't know why I didn't think of just using wood, because wood turns into charcoal, and charcoal is something I can use to smelt with. So it's a win-win. Uh, it's not an ingot, so I am going to have to use the furnaces. Which the furnaces are on the warped side, or on the, the crimson side. I just need to remember that. So this is fuel, so bamboo. This is... Well, I mean, not the best, right? But it is delivering, hopefully, as evenly as possible. It just doesn't stop and pick stuff up. But the thing is, I can't really have it do that. Easily, at least. And these are slabs, so technically I could put one more chest up here. So, and then I could put one, two, three, four spruce logs. Now they should start smelting, and hopefully they can keep up. The only issue is I can't reach the chests. I just realized I'm going to have to relocate how the chests work. I'm going to have to move them here. Which means I have to turn this into a slab, which is fine, actually. I could easily do that. 
So I could easily just put them here and here, and then I can come up here and check my chests. Let's turn that into a slab first. Well, I'll let them smelt for now. A stack of bamboo. I didn't realize that it was going to be like that. It's very smart on my part. Uh, 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 not really. That's some sarcasm. But it's okay. I can get this pretty easily. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. I will fix the issues um, before next time. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button to share support. Subscribe for future content. And ding that notification bell so you can be notified of future content. Check out JS Ox. Check out my new Lost Crafters SMP series. Check out Clutch One Grip Cream. All links in the description except for the Lost uh, SMP. Just look at my channel and it'll be there. Uh, trust me, it's actually quite fun. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Have a good one.